And so, with another week comes another video. I know last weekend was a double upload. I recorded, I believe, Thursday of last week. And I also uploaded a clip. I think it might have been Saturday. I'd have to look at my YouTube and just remember that that clip was of a base. I was playing Basement Trapper. I had a daily where I had to get three survivors caught in traps. So I just decided to play some Trapper's Basement. Both games were very easy. Like that first one was a complete wipe, and the second one wasn't much better. Only difference was in the second one, Hatch spawned outside of Killer Shack, and the Steve I was playing against got the Hatch. Everyone else died in the basement, though, and they got no gems done. But anyway, coming off of that weekend, today on this fine, beautiful Monday, we are going to do a Survivor perk build. Now, ever since I got alert, I've been wanting to make this build happen for quite some time. So, here's what we got. We got Kindred. You've all seen me you can use Kindred, you know what it does. Dark Sense. Each time a gen is completed, Dark Sense activates. While it is active, the killer, when he enters a 24 meter radius around me, will have their aura revealed for 10 seconds. And this happens every time a gen pops. Like, if I use Dark Sense, and then another gen pops, I get it back. It's amazing. I really like it. I mean, I always thought Dark Sense was a very underrated perk. I do like Old Dark Sense better, because it gave me more of a sense of where the killer was on the map. But, New Dark Sense is still good. It's kind of like the Ruin rework, right? No one's really complaining about New Ruin, even if it isn't as good as it used to be. So yeah, we got open-handed. I'm sorry, having some throat issues. Anyway, we got open-handed, increases my aura reading range by 16 meters, just to increase both of these. And then we've got alert, the creme de la creme of this build. This is the best information perk in the game by far, in my opinion. I don't think there is a better information perk in this game. I really don't. So, when the killer performs a break action, that's breaking walls, breaking pallets, or kicking a generator, their aura is revealed for 5 seconds, and it gives me a sound cue to know that they're proccing my alert. And then, of course, this build is about seeing the killer's aura. It's an ICU build. So what we're going to do is run a key, an ultra rare key, with a blood amber, and let's see. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah. And we're going to use the prayer beads to add 15 seconds because Blood Amber doubles your key's energy consumption. So it'll put this from the 15 seconds of use I would get out of the Blood Amber back up to its original 30 seconds of use. And then for an offering for the first game, you notice I say first game. I'm wanting to get two games in because I'm wanting to get back to that. I used to do two games per video and now it's been getting to one, but I want to get back to doing two games. So for an offering for the first game, we're going to run a Bloody Party Streamer just for the Blood Points. And, yeah, let's get into it. Alright, the Pale Rose, Backwater Swamp. Here we are, trying to get, get this going, baby. Let's go ahead and use the key. Nothing. Alright. I'm thinking it could easily be a stealth killer. Ooh, glyph. Nope, it was a, it's a huntress that is right next to me. I'm going to get that glyph, but I... Where is she? She's up there somewhere. There she is. See, that's what I'm saying. This build just provides limitless information. Ooh, I missed it. Okay. These glyphs have been really killing me. I've only got one. Now, of course, with every build is a downside. With this build, I have no looping utility, no live, um, which is usually what I run in my personal build, like a lot. I run dead hard. Oh, I don't run dead hard. I run live with like windows of opportunity is my normal build for my looping utility. Honestly, with a lot of uh, there's alert proccing with um, what was it? Quick and quiet because I focus my loop on vaults. 
So, I mean, usually Lithe is like a really good escape tool. I usually get away with Lithe. There's alert proccing again. See, it's just... It's really good. She's coming over this way. Nice as she kicked the gen and procced my alert. Stay over here with your proof thyself. Ooh. Ooh, and she has faced the darkness. How nasty. I think darkness hit, face the darkness procs when I'm outside the terror radius, I believe. Yeah. She's on her way over here. I'll scream here in a minute. There's my alert procking. And then there's Kingdra doing its job. I just heard that hatchet charge up. Come on, Bill. Oh, that's not good. Crap. Ooh. I did dodge the hatchet, but I should have known I wasn't getting out of there like that. Oh, she was taking me around to the back to Bill is still up there. Come on. Come on, Bill. Come here, buddy. Bill, stop! Well, I'm not procced with the face of darkness anymore. There's that. Heal me, Bill. Not hit with that face of darkness anymore. Dang. Bill's not hitting these skill checks. I'll use my key. When I come up and see what I can. Never mind, alert proc, which will tell me exactly where she's at. So, this is what I'm saying about alert being the, the, the best information perk in the game. All killers are, have to break things. Why, why didn't he finish the heal? Why is it? Is it like 99? Yeah, it is. I didn't even notice that. But every killer has to perform a break action during the. Bill! 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 Mm. 
you can hit skill checks, probably. And that makes her, her able to to hit my dark sense. Yeah, yeah, dude. You and your prove thyself. Get up, get up on this gym. Let the bill go get the save. He's been all altruism this game. Oh, that was on me. That was my bad. Oh my lord. Well, guys, there's your distraction. Why isn't my blood amber working? I need to reread the add on. Maybe I'm missing a condition or something. So you better not try to hit me with that from all the way over there. Okay, so she kicked my gem. Ain't no way. Don't question it. Don't question it. Alright, he got hooked in the basement. Where is the other two? On the other side of the map, okay. She's on the way over here. She wants to keep the gen from getting done. She is literally protecting my gen. Oh! Ah! She got me, and there's that face to darkness. I'm going up to the boat. Forget it, we're running the boat. Telling you this build works. Ah! I think there's like four skill checks in one of those glyphs. Cause my first game that I had the challenge on, I got the one. Did you tap the gun? Here, let's heal. Let's heal. Oh, I forgot she's got face to darkness. So I could use my information to attempt to outlive this Kate, just because she's dead on hook. But that's a really scummy thing to do. We'll do, we'll use this gen to get my dark sense up. I'll get a little bit of information from Kindred. Well, you have fun with that. I'm going. Yeah. 
alert. How did you? Holy crap, dude. Just pull the wool over her eyes. Nah, oh lord, she's coming though. How did she know? How did she know? I deserve that. I really shouldn't have stopped to touch it, but what I really want to know is how did she know? Like, I didn't think she could see over that. Has faced the darkness on her. Forget it, I'll commit to the heal. Yeah, I'm dead. Well, that's GG's. Maybe it was stupid for me to commit to the heal right there, but, you know. But this Kate seems to be pretty slippery. She may be able to make it out. Nope. Well, that's GG's. We'll see if the hatch doesn't like, if the hatch will spawn right in front of me. Why is she throwing hatchets? I'm down. Yeah, but if she closes the hatch, I'm done for because I don't have adrenaline. I'm not going to make it very far. I can hear her. She's real close. I'm still looking for it though. Come on, Hatch. Come on, Hatch. Come on, RNG. That hat you just hear right next to me. She knows where I am. It's over. That's game over. Good game. Yeah. 
Did she find Hatch? Let's go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> she gave it to me. Let's go. Oh, man. She gave it to me. I crawled. And I, I you know, how close I actually was to it. I didn't realize how close I was to actually finding the hatch. I actually just let me crawl around. I would have found it before I bled out. What does she have? That explains a lot. That explains a lot. She kicked the gen and saw me. She didn't see me through the window when I was up on the boat. She just saw me with the nowhere to hide. I use nowhere to hide a lot. Tinkerer. That one is surprising. I didn't expect it. Hex face the darkness and thrill. Thrill. Mm, she had thrilling tremors. That's. That's something. Well, that's a pretty good first game, but as I said, we're getting back to putting two games in the videos, so I will catch you guys in the next one. I walked away while it was lo while it was like queuing up, and when I came back, I did not get to see the offering screen. Oh, oh, oh. Terror radius that way. It's a ah oh, ha oh, really. I'll be completely honest, guys. I hate facing doctors. Doctor is such an obnoxious killer. Like, I know I mained him for a long time, but he's such an obnoxious killer. Oh, he's coming. Nah, I'm getting the heck out of here, boy. Y'all have fun with that. I think I'm gonna look around for that glyph. When he hooks, he's probably going to use the static blast. He walked right by her. See, that open handed just makes Kindred so good as somebody's on the hook. Like, even if the killer's not camping, you can still see, like, pretty much a good portion into their, like, wherever they go. Downstairs. I'm gonna get off this gym and I'll use my key. There's only one way he can enter this room. Like, well, I have dark sense. We'll use my key real quick anyway. Oh, so he's up here. No, he's not. He's downstairs.
Might as well start breaking these. There's a good chance he has no ed. What is this disgusting double pallet in here? Well, not only is there a way out, actually two ways out if he breaks that door, there's two pallets with like decent loops. Like, ew. Seriously? <clears throat> oh, get out of the lockers. Dang, am I the only one who's done a gen? Seriously? Doctor's kind of been on the bottom floor all game, so... He's moving away from me. What is my freaking dog barking at? Predictable, man. Oh, wow, a shock and double back. A, a daring today, aren't we? <laughs> Get bamboozled, son. You already know. <laughs> Ooh. Well, he's gonna come right back to me. I don't know if I can... Has he used his static blast at all? Oh, I see, there he is. Yeah, yeah, nice try, genius. Find somebody to chase, man. He is moving over this way. Alright. Can he really not find anyone? If I was Doc, I'd be running surveillance. Wow. So the locker attack on Titan Meg finally decides to come out and do something. Give me my dark sense back.
So it only takes a tap of the mine channel to figure out where this guy's at. There's the static blast. See, this wouldn't work nearly as well on a stealth killer. Because of the undetectable status effect. Like, say I was facing... Uh, dark sense. Say I was facing, uh, I don't know, a pig. See, this pallet's pretty bad, too. Like, But say I was facing, like, a pig. You know, or a wraith, or tier 1 Mikey. See, this build would be directly countered by tier 1 Myers. He would proc my alert, because I've faced an undetectable killer. He would proc my alert. But it would not show me an aura, it would just let me know the killer was performing a break action. Ah, oh, I really don't want to have to find that thing again. He's underneath me. No, oh, so he right here somewhere. They're on it, so I'm gonna get around here. I just kind of want to like clarify that these are uh, these are bronze two killers. Because the terror radius is so prevalent on the map, I'm going to be using the key a lot more. He's like, I'm hearing his terror radius in most points. Most places I go around the map, I'm hearing his terror radius. One thing about Midwitch is, yeah, this is a fairly balanced map, in my opinion. But, look, there's a lot of really strong loops in this map. Of course, there's a lot of, like, um... There's a lot of areas that you can play catch-up in as killer. Like, there's not a loop in every single area, which I think is a good thing. So, they balance the map a little bit for killers, and survivors have some really strong loops. Like, this map is pretty high up on the balanced list, I feel. Not to say I really like Midwitch particularly. Um, actually, my favorite map is probably the Saloon right now. I am really enjoying playing on Dead Dog. I have a Dead Dog offering that I thought about using for this video. But I didn't. I'm getting this gen before I get him. Gens before friends. Also, I want to get out of this game. See, look, once the alert goes away, look, the Kindred is keeping his aura, and he's upstairs. Hey, he's gonna use it. He now knows where I am, but he's going back to the hook. Alert. They're snapping out of it. Ah! The amount of times this doctor has been right next to me and he hasn't even known it. 
this game is applaudable. Like, I gotta give this guy a hand for how unaware he is sometimes. Which sometimes he has no way of knowing, so maybe I need to applaud myself for my luck. Because this guy, some of these times, has had no way of knowing. If he hasn't broken this wall, that is a pretty good loop. Ah! Wouldn't say it's a loop, it's a line of sight blogger. Oh, they got it. And there's a door right here. Get the heck away from here. He's gonna hit me with a stray shock. Get on the door, Meghead. Weeball, weeball, weeball. Break it, break it, break it. Break it. Yeah, yeah. Heal, quick. The hook's back. Maybe it's not back. He's still gonna get her somewhere. The thing about this doctor is he swings at everything. Oh, she's in tier three, she can't do anything. But yeah, this doc, he swings at everything. Let's go, baby. That doc, man, like, the whole thing with that, that, uh, that carry, the, the play we got at the end, is literally because he swings at everything. And he swings very easy to dodge. Yeah, see, these are just bronze, too. Well, I'm in bronze, too, so... Take it with a grain of salt. These aren't god-tier players. Like, look at this doc. He only had Distressing, Iron Grasp, and Jolt. The thing about Distressing is it is a really good perk. Like, there's no issue with Distressing on Doctor. Like, on Doctor, Distressing is ridiculously powerful. Distressing, and I'd, I'd put Chlorophobia on there, too. Just because if you can stop them from healing and keep that passive pressure. But I'm not here to talk about killer builds. How did I have the least amount of points? I am disappointed. I'm thoroughly disappointed, and my day is ruined. It's probably because my altruism was pretty, pretty low that game. Spent most of the game juking this doctor, but um, that's gonna do it. You know, I hope this one was an enjoyable one. I'm trying to get back into more uploads, more quality uploads. I'm trying to get back to getting, you know, the two games per upload that I used to do instead of my intro and one game. Because I feel like two games just gives you more of an idea of what the build does. And it's just furthermore more entertaining to watch. Though a lot of times it results in a longer video. And you know, you saw the, the forest video a couple week, a couple weeks? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. That is going to be a normal thing now. Uh, maybe not the forest particularly. We've kind of stopped playing it for a while. It's a game that's easy to get burned out on. But things like Modern Warfare, which I do have... I've told you guys about that already. Me and my gold M4. Yes, I had the game for two days and had already golded the M4. Now I'm working on golding my M13B. So, yeah. Maybe some gameplay coming for that. Who knows? And, um... I don't know. Honestly, don't get your hopes up for killer builds anytime in the near future. I'm just gonna be real with you. Yes, I've been having fun with the game, but that's when I'm not playing Killer. I don't have fun playing Killer anymore because Killers are really... It's really... All the Killers I used to find fun really aren't powerful anymore. Besides Bar Doctor, and I don't really find him fun anymore. Like, Doctor... 
I mean, I, I really love playing Bubba. He's not fun to play anymore. He's really weak. I used to love playing Freddy. Freddy's really weak. Clown, I love playing Clown, and Clown is really weak. Like, it's just all the killers I love playing are just weak killers. And I don't want to go, like, blight meta, you know, and become a, a meta player and not have any fun in the game because I'm busy freaking sweating. Like, I have fun with these survivor perk builds I do. Like, Breakout, that's some of the most fun I had. Or, like, with that, this information build, when I got the play on the Doctor with, you know, the generator and the 360 dropping the... Well, what counts as a 360? I, it's literally just me using my stick to do a U-turn and then going back around. But using the U-turn, dropping the pallet, taking off and managing to hide from this man to where he did eventually leave me and I went back and got my gen done after two or three tries of running from him that's what I like like I've got a I'm gonna have a more stealth oriented build coming soon using things like diversion and urban evasion I mean cuz like I've got let's see I've got urban evasion and I've got diversion like I'm gonna be doing a build like that here soon with probably quick and quiet involved in that and I don't know what else so, honestly, killer content is going to depend on behaviors next few updates. Sadly, just having a real a real moment with you. This game is getting to the point where there's only certain things that bring me joy in it anymore. And honestly, I'm going to keep playing it. Cause this is my main channel game, but I don't know. I just can't do what I used to. A Gen Protector Legion was the first killer video in a while. And I can say that objectively, that was one of the most painful games of DVD I have recorded in a very long time. Like a very long time. But, I'm going to end that. I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you have any feedback or anything you want to say, feel free to comment it down below. You know the drill. I'm not going to give you the like, subscribe routine because that's freaking cringe and I'm not going to do it. So, everyone have a wonderful and blessed day and I will see you wonderful people in the next video.